There's a reason why George Orwell's book 1984 and his other writings are predominant in my new book, A Government of Wolves, The Emerging American Police State. It's because right now at this point in history, believe it, many years after Orwell wrote his uh, books and did his various commentaries, uh, he is actually more relevant than he's ever been. Orwell understood what many Americans caught up in their partisan flag waving are still struggling to come to terms with that there's no such thing as a government organized for the good of the people. Even the best intentions among those in government inevitably give way to the desire to maintain power and control at all costs. In fact, the United States government now, in all of its conglomerates from the local police, the NSA, National Security Agency, CIA, Department of Homeland Security, has an amazing arsenal of things that impact us, and these are key pressure points uh, that are affecting our freedoms. Spearheaded by the National Security Agency, which has shown itself to care little for constitutional limits or privacy, the security industrial complex, a marriage of government, military, and corporate interest aimed at keeping Americans under constant surveillance has come to dominate our government and our lives. At three times the size of the CIA, constituting one-third of the intelligence budget, and with its own global spy network to boot, the NSA has a long history of spying on Americans, whether or not it has always had the authorization to do so. What many fail to recognize is that the government can't do this alone. They have to have an accomplice. So what do they do? There's been a huge fusion of super corporate interests with the government that makes money off of the government actually spying, invading our rights, and encroaching on our freedoms. In search of terrorists hiding among us, the government has taken to monitoring all aspects of our lives, from cell phone calls and emails to internet activity and credit card transactions. Much of this data is being fed through fusion centers across the country. These are state and regional intelligence centers that watch us and collect data on us. Orwell's famous quote, Big Brother is watching you. That has come true. What happens to a people that are being constantly watched? Our homes invaded, many of us, 80,000 SWAT team raids across the country, and that's increasing rapidly where armed, black armed troopers are coming through people's doors without warrants. And the United States Supreme Court has condoned that. What's happened to us? Here's what I think. If we don't wake up soon and start dismantling this machine that we have built, we're going to be in deep trouble. Read Thomas Paine's Common Sense. In the first paragraph, he says, We build the instruments from which we suffer. The age of privacy and freedom is coming to a close in America. If we don't wake up, the future looks ominous. To quote George Orwell, If you want a picture of the future, he forewarned, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever.